Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining again. So today it is kind of a different video. It is a morning breakfast ride, not a very long 200-300 kilometers, just 100-150 kilometers from Bangalore. We are going to go to a place, have a breakfast with friends, and after that we'll try to do some off-roading. So let's see and enjoy with me. So today I'm going to the double upper. It is uh, some uh, 80, 90 or 100 kilometers. I'm not sure how far it will be. But yeah, we couple of friends decided in the last moment and uh, now we are going. So the plan is we will meet uh, nearby Hebel flyover uh, around 5.30, 5.45 or something. So when I started it was full dark but uh, in this much early morning so much rush oh my god I was not expecting this. <laughs> I was literally thinking at least in the morning there will be no rush over here but it is appearing that yeah it is night 9 or uh, the office time Bangalore the traffic in Bangalore will never disappoint you <laughs> literally it will never disappoint you. So I reached at the location on time I think so and I was little confused because I couldn't see anyone over here. I was like what I came to the right place whether I was having the right location I saw the map okay fine this is the place which I was supposed to be but I was early so I have to wait for uh, everybody to come and then we will start from here. I think so uh, we all mean slowly one by one everybody started coming and I was over here for almost 30 minutes or 40 minutes when everybody came then we started it was almost daytime appearing but yeah it was early morning and then we started our journey. took this uh, Hebel flyover towards the airport and uh, after crossing the flyover you will uh, get a left, left turn towards Yelahanka so that's what the route which we took towards uh, the double upward and because it was early mor morning the highway was kind of fine that much uh, traffic was not there but uh, because the sun and the breeze and this cold weather in the early morning that was uh, kind of fun. Uh, that is, this is the good thing when you start early you can ride uh, more distances and all that because the temperature will be less you will like the ride traffic will be less so that's what.
as we were going away from the city slowly the traffic was becoming less and less and the roads were wide so it was nice to drive in this uh, wide road <laughs> with no traffic obviously everybody wants this only uh, it was fun So he's Arun. I was just talking to him that uh, he was asking where are others and all. I said they are backside, they are coming slowly and all that thing. And I drive actually little slow, so I was telling him I drive slowly. If you want, you can go ahead and then you see my friends. Oh my God, they are just zooming and telling me also to drive fast. But uh, I like to drive in the constant speed and obviously means they will be reaching to the destination before me. But yeah, I will also join them. In five minutes, ten minutes delay will be there. That's all. As I was telling, I was coming Aram say, and then this tall came, and over here they were waiting for me. <laughs> Obviously, because I was coming slow, so kind of them. And as I came again, they started their uh, ride. Traveling alone and traveling with a group of friends, the, these two are totally different things, which I felt because this is the first time when I'm uh, traveling with a group of uh, friends. They are like four, five, six, seven people, and all that. this is this gives a different vibe and when you travel alone that gives a different vibe totally different means uh, when you will drive you will feel that i can't even express what kind of feeling that is but yeah both of them are uh, very good and awesome in their own way It was so peaceful driving in these empty roads and uh, just enjoying the sunrise and the breeze hitting your face. You have to just feel it. That's all. after uh, i think so driving for uh, half an hour 40 minutes or something or not even that we reached to our first uh, stop which is uh, the hotel which we with we thought uh, we are going to eat the ganesh grand so over here we thought we'll have our breakfast and then uh, have a little bit of break and then again we'll start the uh, ride this place has plenty of uh, parking space so if anybody is coming towards this side definitely try we have tried the breakfast the taste was very good so yeah definitely you can try if you are coming towards this side and this yes when all of us parked our vehicles over here uh, it was looking good
द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ ट्रेवलिंग इन अ ग्रुप इज दिस वेन ऑल ऑफ अ स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एनी प्लेस आफ्टर अ ब्रेक और समथिंग वन बाय वन द बाइक्स विल गो एवरीबडी टर्न देयर हेड एंड सी वट इज दैट वट इज हैपनिंग ऑफ माई गॉड मीन्स दैट गिव्स अर मीन्स अ वेरी गुड फील so we spent some uh, 20 minutes to half an hour or something to this at this place and after that uh, we started our ride again no need of telling again but the roads were nice and uh, because it is little bit hot and the summer is starting or something the greenery was not as much as it was supposed to be but i think so after this rainy season this whole uh, route will look very good actually i was having a recording after this place also but i don't know what happened to the gopro suddenly and it stopped recording and when i reached to some place in the further i was checking the let's see how the because it was kind of a ghat road and uh, it it i felt that it will look very nice in the video when i was checking the gopro there was no recording at all and uh, that's what uh, some other time i'll try to go that side and then uh, record it and show you guys how it was but from here we started and it was uh, countryside that village road so obviously it will not be as much as uh, maintained like the highways but then also it was uh, nice as we were going more inside the village slowly the temperature was coming down and uh, it was actually proper village and all but then we saw this lake my god that is wow literally awesome view <laughs> and uh, this particular there is no road obviously it was kind of dam or something i don't know so but on this driving one side lake one side uh, full greenery that gives a different vibe all together so actually from here the off road starts <laughs> but you have to be careful because one mistake and you will be in the lake or in the other side because i am having meteor it's a cruise bike for me it was kind of difficult to drive in these kind of terrain but my friends they were having that uh, those bikes made for all these uh, off road impulse himalayan and all that thing so they were zooming in this particular road also and i was like hey wait for me i am coming <laughs> actually this uh, video is going to be very long because after this also there is a uh, off road uh, trail and all those things but we can't means i can't cover everything in that so there will be part 2 so stay tuned and you will be getting a uh, part 2 of the proper off road and uh, i'm sure that you are going to enjoy that particular video as well until then enjoy this particular small off road done by me 
So that's it in this video. Thank you for watching till now. I hope to see you guys again in my next video, part 2 of this particular video. And of course, if you like this video, please share with your friends, like and subscribe to my channel for this kind of more videos in the future. And if you have any suggestions, please comment below and let me know how I can improve, what, what are all the places I can go, what are changes I should do on my channel. I will be happy to reply to your comments. Till then, bye, take care, see you in my next video.